But how did you discover that you had a special talent in volleyball? Di ko alam eh, kasi, well, I'm, I'm a really sporty person okay. po kasi. And the favorite sport that I really, syempre, nagustuhan was basketball because of my father na naman ulit. Kasi every Sunday after Mass, we watch his games. And nagustuhan ko siya kasi it, it looked cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pero kasi given that Cebu, wala kasi silang basketball for girls, unlike here. Syempre, I turned into a sport na yung, yung kilala rin. Diba? So, there was this one time intramurals. Sinama ko ng friend ko na sumama doon. And I thought I was just like trying out for intramurals. And nakita ko yung isang player, like sa varsity, na ganyan-ganyan lang ng bola. Mm -mm. So, parang sabi ko, ang cool naman. Kasi uh -oh. Yun yung hindi, setting. Yeah. Uh -oh. Kasi parang hindi niya hinawakan ng they let go of the ball that quick. So, I tried it. And then, biglang nagsabi yung coach na sama ako. Akala ko sa intramurals, yun pala, sa varsity team. And I didn't even know what varsity meant before. Mm -mm. But to be fair, it's because idol mo, tatay mo, kaya ka na-expose, and that's why you're here. Dahil talaga sa kanya. She is the best rank setter in the league. Dina Wong saw it a mile away. What was the toughest challenge you had to face? First talaga, yung pinaka-hardest was being away from my family when I went from Cebu to Manila. Hindi ako sanay eh, kasi nga, I always mm -hmm. went home after class, after training. And it was a new journey na parang ako lang mag-isa given nga na hindi siya yung comfort zone mo eh. Yeah. Kasi... Did you get depressed when you were in... Hindi naman siguro depressed. Very, very sad. I kept on crying. Ay, kasi lalo na... Talaga? Yeah, lalo oh. na Filipino was my lowest grade na. So, oh, oh. nahirapan talaga ako mag... Tagalog before. Oh, oh. Who was your biggest influence in Ateneo? Well, nung una, when I was in my first year, it was Ate Gia. Yeah. Morado. Your mentor coach, no? Yeah, yeah. kasi bukod na same kami na position, na setter nga. Siya din yung naging close ko nung una na tinulong mm. niya talaga ako, ginagayad ko kung paano. Mm. It's an honor to be able to learn yeah. a lot from her. Oh, oh. And now, you're, you're a setter, you're the best. But what other position in volleyball do you like? Libero. <laughs> you, you have to tell me uh, what that is. Libero kasi it's sort of a defensive specialist. Uh -oh. So, hindi siya umaabot sa harap. Nasa likod. Nasa likod siya uh -oh. palagi. And Ay, ganun ako noon. Libero? Sa school. <laughs> Libero po. Yeah, but then, yeah, nasa likod. Yun Tap, pala yun. Yun, kasi every time the middle blocker goes, siya nasunod na mag-serve. Uh -oh. After niya mag-serve, automatically yung mag-switch yung Libero. Yeah. And I'm curious, you never wanted to be a spiker? Gusto ko magsaspike, pero parang I love the role of a setter na kasi. Uh -oh. so, yeah. so the setting, oh. how do you... Ano ang impluensya ng tatay mo sa pagiging volleyball player mo ngayon? You said he was frustrated. He wanted to be in varsity. Mm -mm. He really was a big, or is a big factor to where I am right now. Kasi kung hindi dahil sa kanya, yung mga motivations niya, yung mga criticisms niya, yung mga misunderstandings namin, kasi um, ano kami, parang minsan nag-aaway kasi hindi nga kami nag-agree um, to a certain thing. So kung hindi la ay lahat doon, parang wala, wala rin ako dito. So mm -hmm. siya talaga yung nagpupush nga sa akin na even if I wanted to quit. So, You're a daddy's girl. Mm, I can say na man siguro, more of a daddy's girl and it through because of sports. Pag sports talaga usapan si daddy talaga kasi uh -oh. wala namang kaalam-alam si mommy. Uh -oh. <laughs> Sumisigaw lang siya. In <laughs> <laughs> kamakailan I know na ang tatay mo, he underwent a stroke, no? Very very sad. I think the saddest thing about it kasi was that it happened during our bubble training. So it was really hard for me to choose whether I should stay for bubble training because our season was coming up in one, two weeks, or if I should leave to go home to take care of my dad. But then again, if I do that, I'll quarantine ulit, tapos hindi ko na mamabutan yung season. Kaya sobrang lungkot siya, sobrang nasasaktan ako, sobrang umi uh, yeah. umiiyak ka. Pero tatay. ikwento mo yung circumstances nung magka-stroke ang tatay mo. Hindi kasi siya masyadong kwinento sa akin kasi mom didn't want me to get distracted yeah. daw. Pero it happened at home. So bigla lang daw tum natumba si dad. And at first nga sa sobrang, well, 
tigas nga ng ulo ni dad, saan pa ba nang mana? <laughs> he didn't even want to go to the hospital to get checked. Siyempre kami, as his children, as mom, his wife, siyempre we wanted to. Doon na dala sa hospital, doon lang nalaman na it was stroke and then... How is he today? Better. Better, better actually. Uh -oh. Pero hopefully talaga full recovery. Mm -hmm. What has changed? How do you feel? Is it painful for you? It is. Kasi sanay kasi kami na parang andyan siya lagi. Di ba, us, parang we, we get seldom breaks lang in volleyball. And parang when I go home and that's there, volleyball pa rin pinag-usapan. So yun, mag-aaway na naman kami na bakit I wanted to rest naman, bakit volleyball? Kasi he's really, really very proud. Yeah. So what's one thing that I miss rin na kahit kulit niya, di ba? And yun nga, pag nanood niya pa ng games namin live. What do you love most about your dad? Supportive niya talaga. Yeah. He's really a supportive dad. So even if ganon siya ka strict, ganon siya ka daming rules kung ano man believes. Well, pinapatrain niya pa ako ng special one on one with a coach. Besides pa don sa regular training namin sa team. So yun maaga o eh hindi pa de o malas with friends. So mga ganon mga stuff na. Sure, prebing high school, being grade school, you wanna be able to go out naman de ba? But yun yas sa strict niya niya. Pero Siyempre, I understand that it's for my own safety. At the end of the day, he will always be our dad. Was your dad the proudest when you got um, your Best Setter uh, Award? He got a trophy. He wanted to keep it, and he said he was the one who got it. So, it's nice. Because I see my parents also happy. So, it's also a way of giving back for what they done for us. <laughs> On a lighter note, can I? This one is. When did you have this? After bubble, after PBL season, namin last year. So sometime in August 2021. Okay. And what does it mean? Create your own reality. Wow. If there's a will, there's a way. It's something I, Greek, kasi na. I really? Uh, and that's your life mantra. Yeah, that's why. If, if there's a will, there's a way. And the back, naman, you can turn. Wait, <laughs> that's a neck. Yeah. So it's here. Oh, ito. This is the Olympics. No. I, ano? The Olympic ano siya? Ring. Para something Greek na na needs strength. When you became pro, your life changed, of course. Now, you earn money. Good money for playing a sport that you actually love. But is it more difficult too? Hindi naman siya mahirap kasi nga ginagawa mo naman yung isang bagay na mahal mo. What's yun, challenging na naman is that it's the job. So without it kasi, syempre, you wouldn't have that source of income to be able to not help yourself lang. But syempre, the people that you love, which is yung family ko. Mm. So yun yung Do you support your family? Yes, I do. Just a way of thanking them talaga, especially mm. my parents. So lalo na ngayon na... Dad needs it as well. Dung dati naman na hindi pa nagkasakit si Dad, nagbibigay pa din naman ako. Just being able to share, kasi yun nga, without sila man din yung isang reason kung bakit ako dumating na yun. So, a way of giving back lang. Would you hindi, define yourself as the breadwinner today? Hindi naman siya fully support, kasi may work pa rin naman si Mom. Si Dad kasi dati, nung hindi pa siya nagkasakit, she, he does um, hardware. Nung nagkasakit si Dad, syempre si Mommy yung tumuloy noon. Mm -hmm. Ngayon, may mini car and dear. Sari-sari store kami. Yung parang in ganang, Cebu. Yeah, in Cebu. Pero it's not that I fully support. Nag, ano lang, tumutulong lang ako sa kanila. So, I give what I can mm -hmm. for a certain amount this month and then next month ulit. You're such a good daughter. Siguro sa akin kasi hindi siya dahil yun yung dapat gawin. Sa akin kasi I just want to do it. Kasi mahal ko yung family ko. So, it's a way talaga to help them. It's not because kailangan and yun yung sinasabi ng mga tao na when you grow up, you have to give back to your family, no? Kasi, no, eh, parang for me, kusa kong mm -hmm. gustong gawin. What does Dina do with her money? I save Good. and I invest. <laughs> uh -uh. You save and you invest yeah. and you support your family. Yes. May luho ka ba? Um, pag shoes. I love it. I was gonna ask you, what are, what are these? Reebok. Ang ganda niya. What's Dina's dream? Siguro to be able to have my own house. In general, just 
a house and lot. Na yeah. you can really say na this one's mine. Nagaling sa pinaghirapan ko. Mm -mm. You're also admired for your courage, for the authenticity of being you. So does that mean, Dina, you've come out? In a way, it says that. Well, I haven't really um, been straight to the point with it, being direct with it. But siyempre, siguro, I think it says na something na parang, ito ako. Mm -mm. So this is who I am. Mm -hmm. So sila na yung mag interpret kung ano yun. <laughs> so how would you describe yourself? Would you consider yourself a member of the LGBTQ community? Pwede, yeah, I think I am naman kasi... LGB. <laughs> LGB. Yeah, so I can say that I am. Mm -mm. Yeah. I'm curious, that's not easy for many people. Was it an issue with your parents? Yes, it was. Yeah. Very, very, very uh -oh. well. So, yun nga, na mentioned ko kanina na, lalo na them coming from a different generation, they have their own personal beliefs, opinions, perspectives. Hindi kami nagkansundo when it came to that point. And who was more adamant? Tatay mo, nanay mo? Si dad. Si dad. Yeah. Oo, oh, wow. Si dad. Ang hirap dalin sa puso nun, no? E daddy's girl ka. Yeah. Anong sabi ni dad nun? He didn't go for it. Kasi yun nga, his beliefs nga were saying something different. Sa isip ko kasi, you live your own life and your life means doing things that make you happy. So. Mm -hmm. But how did you come to terms and come out on your own. That's also not easy for many women. It was me kasi believing na nagustuhan ko lang naman yung tao eh. Parang minamahal ko lang naman siya. Mm -mm. And if I'm not stepping on anyone's toes or anything like that, if hindi naman siya mali. So it wasn't really because na I was um, who, like who I am right now or dahil nga naglalaro ako ng balabang. It wasn't mm -hmm. because of that. It was just really because of how I really felt. Pero hindi ka natakot na, uy, baka mamaya hindi ka tanggapin ng ilang... I mean, clearly, so many brands uh, are supporting you and caring you. And the reason I'm asking this, because I feel it's important for people to embrace, you know, this kind of authenticity. Well, ang iniisip ko lang lagi is, um, people can really say, or will really say a lot about certain things. So, sa akin lang, if kung hindi, kung ang ayaw sila, di, um, I'll let it pass. Like, hayaan ko lang. Kasi, if the people will really see me for who I am, or kung gustuhan talaga niya, kung sino man talaga ko. And then, that's the people who are true mm -hmm. to me. I heard that you have suitors, male suitors. <laughs> My gosh. And I, I'm not surprised because, frankly, when I saw Dina, I was like, what a beautiful girl. May pag-asa ba ang male suitors at this point? Nothing's impossible naman. We'll see. <laughs> kasi for me, kasi, um, I really don't have a type. So if I like the person, I like the person. If I love the person, I love the person. As long as that person, if I know that person will treat me right, is kind, is God-fearing. And then... Oh, why not? Your parents now, how are they today when well, it comes to your preferences? They've accepted it naman. Kasi syempre, wala silang magagawa nga. Kasi um, it's my life naman we're talking about nga. Siguro they've seen na uh, it wasn't a hindrance, for example, to my career or something else, di ba? Pero syempre, there are still hopes. For you to have kids. Yeah. <laughs> and si, get, si Mama uh, <laughs> Hopes for you to get married and have kids. No doubt, I'm sure all parents would want that, right? Would you want to have a child one day? Honestly, no. Why not? I don't know. Uh -oh. I'm good already with having a pet, with having my pet. Okay. <laughs> so, I've, siguro now, kasi di ko makikita. Di ko makita yung sarili ko. Uh -oh. Kasi in career yung pinafocus ko talaga and yung business. So, and my, siyempre, my dog also and the mm. people around. How do you see yourself in five years? Now you're 23. It's different when you hit 28, right? Do you think you're still playing volleyball by then? I think I still am. Hopefully, my life will be more or less 
um, settled in a way na parang yun nga um, okay yung volleyball career ko, okay yung business ko, my family's um, safe, healthy, my siblings um, work nila, kung sino man na uh, people close to me, see, I see them happy. So yun, I think hopefully that will come in the, in the 30s. What would you want to achieve in the next every, season? Every athlete's dream is to be champions, to win the championship. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we'd get there, we'd get it. Sana. What motto do you live with? Well, lagi ko tong sinabi sa mga tao at sa mga people close to me na life is really hard. Unexpected things come your way. May it be very painful, may it be um, sobrang hirap, di ba? And it comes to a point na you'd say you wanna stop, you'd say you wanna quit. But I always say to myself na whenever I do think of that, I do think of quitting, I do think of stopping, I just really go back to why I started it in the yeah. first place. And tapusin, tapusin mo yung sinumulan mo. Kasi in the end, it will be worth it. Kasi hindi naman ibibigay yan ng silver platter. Kailangan talaga paghirapan. And it's really a process that you have to go through mm -hmm. to be able to become better each day.